Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to create views in Revit. Specifically, how to create a section, building, wall, and uh, detail section, and interior and exterior elevations. Here I am in a Revit project. I go to the View tab of the ribbon, Create Panel. I have the Section command. Start the command. In the Type selector, I can pick a building up section and a detail section. You also can do a wall section detail as well. I just purged out of this file. When you're working with the command, <clears throat> You have reference other view is available if you want to tell the software to create the annotation but not link it to a view that's automatically generated but link it to a blank view called a drafting view. I'm going to leave this unchecked for now. I'm going to click once, drag and click and it places the annotation. When we look at this annotation we can hit the circle button here to cycle between the head, the tail and nothing on both ends. We have the ability to specify the limits of what it's looking at with this dash box. This one here controls how deep that section is looking, and these control the left and the right side. When we're finished creating the symbology, we can click out into space, double click the symbol, head, and the section will automatically show up. This is scaled at 3 sixteenths of an inch, which is the same scale as the uh, floor plan view that you generated that section symbol from. If you select that section symbol, you can obviously move it so that it's aligned with the other ones. You can push and pull these lines, dash lines here. You can click this elbow symbol to break the annotation to make it look like this instead. You can also select it and click size crop and give it a physical printed size and it will adjust the dash box for you. <clears throat> You can also click a split segment and your mouse turns into an X-Acto blade that allows you to click and drag anywhere within the dash box to specify a interesting section line work, if you will. And when you're finished, hit modify. And then you can double click the symbol again and it will show you the modified section. The process to do a wall section and a detail section is identical. In regards to creating elevations interior and exterior, start the command by picking elevation. You can pick building elevation and interior elevation if you want to. Um, I've purged out the interior elevation command because for this particular Revit file, but the only difference is that it's a circle instead of a square. Once you pick the one that you want to work with, you can move your mouse and you can see that it's looking at objects in the Revit model. So for example, I can click over here to place this symbol. It automatically <clears throat> creates the view for me. And if we head over here to the project browser, you'll see elevation 1-A. If I select that triangle, uh, that's actually the symbology that you can double click to get to the particular view. If you select that triangle, an invisible blue line will show up. And that is to help you understand where you're standing and the limits to the left and the right and how deep that elevation is going to look. Again, I can either double click that symbol or right click the arrowhead and say go to elevation and it shows you the elevation. This is at 3 16th of an inch. This is also at 3 16th of an inch. This symbol here, make sure you grab the entire thing by doing a window selection like this. Because if you don't do that and you just pick the circle, the square or the triangle, then what ends up happening is that the blue line doesn't go with it. And that's how you create a uh, section and an elevation in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.